So here is how you get audio and video from your Google Drive into iMovie on your iPad. What you're looking at right now is my iPad. I've brought up the Google Drive app and I'm looking at a particular folder uh, on my drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is to load the video into my movie and then I'm going to do the audio into my movie and then show you a couple of little quick editing tricks inside iMovie on the iPad. So first thing you do is to select the video you want and then what you'll do is click on the I icon to the right. So I'm going to do the Arc Packet Capture. Click on the I and click on Open In. Now depending on how much is going on in the room this may take a while to open up. Okay here we go and I'm going to select Open In again and select iMovie. Google Drive does some sort of behind the scenes dance. iPad says, oh, I need to fire up iMovie. And it loads it in and puts it inside a brand new project. So there's my video from the beginning. All right. So double click the home button, switch back to Google Drive, close out the details, and now I need to load in my audio. Now this is an MP3. It will also work with an AIFF file like you see down there, the Star Spangled Banner, AIFF. I'm going to use MP3 because they're smaller files. So again, click the I button, open in, Google Drive does its dance again, open in, and open an iMovie. I really would suggest doing the video first. It is a bigger file generally. Now it asks me right now, this is iMovie, okay, where do I want to put it? Do I want to create a new movie or do I want to put it in the last thing that I quote edited? Obviously that's what I want to do. I haven't changed the name so it's just my movie and you see it loaded it into the video. So at this point, there it is. A couple of real quick editing features. Click on the audio and at the bottom you see you get some tools. Click on the speaker and you can change the volume all the way up to 500 percent or much much quieter. So you can ch modify your volume that way. You can also change the speed. Um, turtle is slower, rabbit is faster obviously. Uh, if you click on the video you can do the same thing. You can adjust the speed. You can also click the T and you can add titles here and you see you've got some options. Click on one and then you can already have a title in there but you can modify it to fit. If you want to get help click the question mark up in the top left. It will show you some thing, quick things to happen here. So I've got the scissors so I can, with two fingers, touch and rotate to turn the clip. Swipe down and with the scissors and that creates two different clips. So if I wanted my, my uh, title, for example, to only show up on that one section, what I would do is to create a clip here separate out the clips so now that clip will just show up on the one the one clip title text here you can see it so just a little bit of editing you can do uh, to tweak to tweak your project let's take help off just by clicking the question mark again and then if I hit play um, then you see the title come in obviously not very useful because it's white on white. So there's a little bit about how to get video and audio from Google Drive into iMovie on your iPad. As always, contact the tech department if you've got questions.